Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall Windows 10 on your PC or laptop. This can be really useful if you update your device with a new SSD and want to have Windows run from that device. But equally, this process will work if you just want to freshen up your PC or if you've built it from parts. Now, in order to do this, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a USB stick of at least 8GB capacity. Uh, you can check out links in the video description if you don't have one of these laying around. You're also going to need a working Windows-based PC with an internet connection as you're going to need to download the Windows 10 software before you can install it. And finally, you're going to need a PC or laptop on which to install Windows 10. The first step is to turn on your working Windows-based PC and go to the link in the video description which will take you to the page shown here. Then you're going to click on the button that says Download Tool Now which will, funnily enough, download the Windows Media Creation Tool. Now! Once the tool is downloaded, go ahead and open it and you'll see a screen like this one. Wait for it to get ready and then click Accept on the license agreement. You'll then be asked to either upgrade this PC now or create installation media. Go ahead and click the Create Installation Media option and then click Next. You then have the option to change the language, edition and architecture, but in most cases this will be fine so you can go ahead and click Next. Only change something here if you know for sure that the default selection is wrong. Next you'll be asked what medium you want to save to and you can see that the USB flash drive is already selected. So leave that as is and click next. You'll then be shown a list of USB devices connected to your machine. I've only got one showing here as I only have a single USB drive connected but if you have more than one connected make sure you choose the right drive here as the program is about to wipe the drive to install the Windows installation files. Once you're happy click next. The media creation tool will then download the Windows installation files and save them to your USB stick. This can take quite a while depending on the speed of your internet connection and whether the USB drive and port are USB version 2 or 3, so go and make a hot drink of your choosing and once it's done you'll be ready to install Windows 10 on your machine. So to install Windows 10 on your machine, the first thing to do is to insert the USB containing the Windows 10 installation files into the machine you wish to install Windows on. You're then going to need to confirm via your machine's BIOS that the system boot order is set to check the USB stick before it attempts to boot from any other devices. The process for this will differ from device to device, so don't be too surprised if your BIOS looks different to mine and you should refer to the manufacturer's guidelines in the manual or on their website for specific steps for your machine. Once you've confirmed the BIOS boot order is set correctly, restart your machine and you should see a screen very similar to this one. From this splash screen, click the Next button and then click the Install Now button. You may then be asked to provide a product key for Windows 10 this tends to happen when you're building a PC yourself or when your PC predates the release of Windows 10. Those machines built by manufacturers such as HP and Dell come with product keys built into the motherboard so you won't see this screen. If you do, then you'll need to purchase a Windows 10 product key in order to license Windows properly. But for now, you can just click I don't have a product key and the installation will continue anyway. You'll then be asked which version of Windows 10 you'd like to install. My preference is always to go with Windows 10 Pro, but the decision is up to you. Next, you'll need to read and accept the license terms by putting a tick in the box shown here and then click Next. You'll then be asked if you want to keep all files and settings or carry out a custom install. If you're looking for a fresh install on a new PC, then click the custom wording and you'll then be shown a breakdown of all drives available on your system. If you're installing on a brand new system with only a single drive installed, then your view here will be much simpler. But if you have multiple drives in your system, it's important that you install onto the correct one. As you can see here, I have three drives installed. And from looking at the drive sizes shown here, I know that I want to install on drive 2. 
As my drive already has Windows installed, you can see that there are already several partitions installed on drive 2. So I'm going to delete those one by one until drive 2 shows as unallocated space. Once I've done this, I can simply select the unallocated space and then click the new button and have Windows do the hard work for me. It will set up multiple partitions that are needed for Windows and I can then click next to continue the installation. From there, Windows will copy the necessary files over from the USB stick onto the new partitions that have been set up and then proceed to install Windows. The time taken for this will depend on the speed of your PC but will take at least a few minutes, so time for another cup of tea. Once Windows is finished installing, your machine will prompt you to restart and will then go through an initial setup phase where it sets up your devices and gets ready to run for the first time. After this, you'll be presented with some setup stages, the first of which asks you to select your region. You'll then be asked to confirm your keyboard layout, and in my case I'm using an Indian layout keyboard, You'll be prompted to add a second layout, but for most people you can just skip this stage. Next you'll be asked to set up your user account. If this is a home PC, click Set up for personal use and click Next. You'll then be asked to sign in with a Microsoft account, which you can do if you have one, but I prefer to log on with an offline account for privacy reasons. To do this, click the offline account wording and then agree to receive Microsoft's limited experience, which basically means you're not forced to use other Microsoft products like Skype, Mail and OneDrive. I've got nothing against those services and I'm sure a lot of people find them very useful, but I prefer to manage things myself so I'm fine with the limited experience. From here you can enter a username and optionally a password which I highly recommend that you use. You'll then be asked to opt in or out of a bunch of additional items including speech recognition, location services, find my device and diagnostic data. It's my preference that I provide as little information to Microsoft as possible, but you may wish to carefully consider which of these options works for you. Once you've chosen these options, Windows does a little more work in the background and then you'll be up and running. So time for one more cup of tea and you'll be greeted with the Windows desktop as well as Microsoft Edge, which conveniently pops up to allow you to download Google Chrome. And there you have it guys, that's how to install Windows 10 on any compatible PC or laptop. I hope you found this video useful, if you have please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. If you have any questions please drop them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Cheers!